Ike, there's someone here claiming to be an envoy from the Theocracy of Begnion. She's been asking if the Princess of Crimea is aboard. What do you want to do? A Begnion envoy? How did she know about this ship? Hmm. Perhaps she had word from King Galia. On the other hand, this is Begnion we're speaking of. I imagine it has spies in every corner of the continent. Perhaps one of those spies is the source of her information. So, we shouldn't be surprised that she knows about Princess Alencia, right? No, but it's extremely unusual for Begnion to send an envoy to meet a princess whom they do not even acknowledge. What do you mean? It is a complicated matter. You see, the envoy is essentially an extension of the Empress herself. Both Crimea and Dane were once part of Begnion. Both nations have only recently splintered from the Theocracy. I can't fathom why the Empress would extend the courtesy of an envoy to a nation she must consider somewhat beneath her. She must be planning something. Beneath her? That is somewhat harsh, don't you think? Harsh, perhaps, but it's true. Clothing it in sweet words will not hide its bitterness, will it? Soren, even I would question the tactfulness of your words. I'll try to be more diplomatic. Ike, Nasir, you've no need to scold Soren. His words are just that. They do me no harm. I'm glad to hear that, Princess, but he should mind his manners. <laughs> <laughs> Deciding how we ought to treat with this envoy is a more pressing issue. Princess, will you meet her and hear her message? I believe I must. We gain nothing by refusing to see her. Let us meet with the envoy. Oh, snap. Whoa, <laughs> look at this girl. Tanith, yeah. she looks cool. She looks all business. <laughs> Princess Alencia of Crimea, I presume. Okay, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I be Tanith? Sure. Yay! <laughs> oh, 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 the, yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is an honor to meet you. My name is Tanith. I am Deputy Commanding Officer of Begnion's Holy <clears throat> Guard. Hmm. I must ask, what would Begnion want of me that she would send her Holy Guard to greet me? The Apostle has learned of you, Princess Alencia, and she has come here to meet with you personally. The duty falls upon me to take you to her now. The Apostle? Am I to meet... Uh, surely the Apostle has better things to do than... Will you accompany me? With princesses. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that I... We are the Princess's escorts, and we'll be coming with her. I hope you understand. Of course. Then yes, I will go with you. Thank you. Pegasus Kuna. <laughs> Bad news, ma'am. We have sighted Lagoos near the Apostle's position. Birdmen. Crows, most likely. Uh, 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 excuse me. Hmm. We've seen their kind before. They fancy themselves pirates without a ship, but they're thieves, plain and simple. A commander Sigrun is with the Apostle, and it will take more than a few winged scavengers to get past her. Let's remain calm. Uh, I actually am afraid we aren't quite sure where the Apostle is. What? You're on a boat. What the heck? What? <laughs> They've kidnapped the Apostle? Uh, no, no. I. From what the commander said, the Apostle grew impatient and had a... Another of her more willful moments. <laughs> what? She had a, a little bit of a yeah. uh, little bit of a feminine moment there. I got a little bit of lady problems. I or... <laughs> asked at the docks, and sure enough, one of the long horse long shoremen. <laughs> what a long horseman! Long horseman. <laughs> mm, yes. <laughs> heard her ordered the ship to sail without us. Oh, geez, what a wow! That's very short-sighted of her. <laughs> What? Where were her attendants? What was she doing without her guard? Why can she never just stay put? I've told her time and time again that the seaports here are rampant with pirates and crow thugs. Right. Where is she now? Uh, the wind is poor today, so we think her ship 
should not be too far from us. I came here as quickly as I could. Understood. We'll move immediately. <clears throat> Excuse me, but is something wrong? Yes, the one job we had, we failed at. <laughs> Your Highness, <laughs> I must apologize, but an urgent matter has arisen, and I must attend to it immediately. I will return for you later. Await my return! What was all that about? Judging from her expression, I'd say something has happened to the person she's supposed to, she's meant to be protecting. <laughs> as as Tanith is flying away, she's like, shit, fuck, fuck it, it's just, just, <laughs> <laughs> just cursing all under her breath. <laughs> hey, do you think that ship over there is involved? The envoy is flying in that direction. If so, then the Pegasus Knight's fears have already been realized. They're under attack. It's the ravens they spoke of, isn't it? Ike, why don't we go and lend them a hand? Are you feeling all right, Soren? It's not like you to offer to help anyone. That's a great opportunity to put the Empress in our debt. We'd be fools to pass that up, wouldn't we? I should have known you'd have an angle. What do you want to do, Titania? I don't approve of Soren's motivation, but I agree that we should help. Come on, Titania. You've got to you've got to concede that it's like a smart idea. <laughs> well, I just realized something. Soren has like a mark on his head, and it was like the same mark that was on the head of Kurthnaga, the prince of the Goldoans we oh, saw. Oh jeez. They have like the same tattoo on their forehead. Well, then that's what we'll do. We'll be all right on your own, princess. You're doing the right thing. I would not dream of stopping you. I know those pirates are no match for your strength. Oh. Give them... Give them a sound thrashing. Ooh, Alincia learning how to talk a little trash. Huh, <laughs> you're starting to sound like one of us, aren't you? All right, then, we'd better go. <laughs> yeah, really fuck them up. Oh... <laughs> <laughs> uh. Coastal Bangion. Oh, hey, this is exactly the setup of what uh, freaking David was talking about. Or whatever the name of that uh, the, the shop guy was. Not Jorge. Not Jorge. <laughs> uh, no matter how many we defeat, there are more waiting to attack. And not just those ravens of Kilvis. These are Bjork, too. What do they all want here? Need a little help? You! Aren't you Princess Cremea's escort? Yeah, the princess ordered us to come to your aid. May we join the fray? That would be appreciated. We'll keep the ravens at bay. In the interim, why don't you go ahead and move on to that ship? The big vessel is ours. I'm not sure who the small one belongs to. There are human soldiers aboard, but if they're in this part of the sea, they must be pirates. Cut them down! Right, we'll take care of them. All right, here we go. <gasps> Is that Catri? Is that Catri in the corner? <laughs> Where on earth is the Holy Guard? Between those crows and the pirates, we're outnumbered. It's only a matter of time before we're overwhelmed. Ooh, Astrid. <laughs> well, she looks I cute. will fight too. You, you're one of the passengers from House Damiel, aren't you? I can't permit someone of your statue to throw yourself into harm's way. I was once a knight of Begneon, albeit only for only a short while. <laughs> I won't get in your way. Before I, I was only in there for a short while before I was dishonorably discharged for being generally incompetent. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I can't. We must defend the apostle, right? We do not have the luxury of choosing how to do so. Come! We must get ready. The enemy is coming! You are right. We need every able fighter. Accept my apologies, and thank you for your help. Ah, oh, shit, it is Gatry! <laughs> Lady Astrid, allow me to serve as your shield. See, isn't Gatry like a French name? I, f I know we gave him like a doofy voice when we first started, but like, I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I, I saw him as a jock. So. Yeah, he, he definitely has like that jock look. <laughs> Gantry, I'm so sorry that I've gotten you involved in this too. Oh, please. This is nothing. I'm fine. Before I was hired as your bodyguard, I was a top-notch mercenary. I can handle this many opponents all by myself. This is nothing. Is that so? Your confidence is impressive, to say the least. Mm-hmm. Something else about me is impressive, if you know what I'm saying, you know what I mean? Tee Well, okay, well that just completely... <laughs> Tee hee. <laughs> well, trust me. My confidence is backed with my blade. I'm ready to fight. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh no! There are more of them? We're doomed! No, don't panic! We must protect the Apostle no matter what! Listen up, pirate scum! You may outnumber us, but we will not yield an inch! Wait, wait! Don't get confused! We're here to help you! We're your reinforcements! The Deputy Commander of the Holy Guard asked us to help drive the enemy from this ship! Oh, thank God! Commander Tanith sent you? Oh, we're saved! Oh, we're saved! The Apostle's taking refuge in the cabin below decks! Until the Holy Guard arrives, we need you to defend the entrance to the ship's cabins! Got it! Weapons ready, everyone! Oh, snap! Here we go. Well, let's go ahead and choose our party here. Okay, so you need two of your thieves, probably. Two thieves? Volk and Soph? Uh, well, I, I guess really, you don't need both. I haven't really leveled them up either. any. Self is gonna get destroyed, huh? I think. Well, that was a fight. Oh, that's true. Okay. Um. So let's see who should we take out. Um. Let's take out Jill. I don't think we really need her. Unless, the, are there flying? Oh, there are crows, right? There, there are crows. Jill could be helpful in in engaging them on the outside. Dang, dang, dang. Maybe we don't need Mordecai. God, this is tough. Um. Let's take out Mordecai. Um. Kieran isn't the most useful guy, to be honest. Let's take out Kieran. And you want me to put in Volk? And Soth? No, uh, just one or the other. Yeah, I feel like Volk is gonna be the best one. Um, what about uh, Titania? You think Titania should be in this? Yeah, this, this one is tricky. Defender. Alright, so we've got Ike, Seahark, <laughs> Rolf, Reese, Nephany, Leith, Ileana, Boyd, Oscar, Jill, Titania, and Volk. Sounds good. Yeah. Alright. It's a shame I can't get Mist and Mia in here. Oh, why not? Um, well, I'd have to take somebody else out. You have room for one more, right? No, this is, this is everybody. Oh. Mm. Um. Well, get rid of Reese. Reese? He's our priest. Yeah, uh, okay. Do you um, think uh do you think Mist will be okay just being by herself? As a as our healer? I don't know. Yeah, let's try and let's try and do that. Let's let's have Mist be our healer. Just to like level her up. A little bit. Okay. Still Be careful no, with her. Still no Mia, though. That should be okay. Alright, cool. Alright, so the party's all gooey. Let's go ahead and hit save. Let's start uh, before this battle. Let's do... Uh, let's overwrite... This one at the top here. Guiding Wind. They're all freaking chapter 13 now. Alright, here we go. Uh, let's well, let's see if we can reposition some people. Volk in the back. Oh, here's all the chests. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, and there's a lot of allies we have here. Weird. Norris. We've got a thunder guy. Norris is that freaking commander. <coughs> oh dude, there's a freaking soldier here who has a killing edge. Oh my god, this is this is escalated. Yep. And then we have so, um, crows if off you the have side. Jill, make sure that she no one has thunder. Because thunder will kill her. Oh shit. I thought it was wind oh, it's wyverns, right? So she's a little yeah. different. She's she, also, she also has to stay away from the uh, the bowmen. Okay, well at least she can engage those uh, the other flyers. Let's have Oscar is the highest defense, Titania is gonna be up there too. Um You want Volk to be close enough to, like, get treasure chests, but safe. Yeah. And you need someone to guard that flashing green place. Oh, the one that's up here? Okay. Yeah, like, one time I got to, like, the near end, and then a bird flew in there, and I lost. Oh, my God. That's... Uh, can the bird <laughs> even go inside? <laughs> just, it just landed in there, and I was like, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I think I want Leaf to be in the front, just so that she can clear out these guys as quick as possible. So I want like my f my fast and like high defense people up there. Um, let's make this. The hearth is pretty good where he is. Um, Jill, I guess, can be here, because she can fly over things, um, yeah. and then Nephany, um, what are we missing? Alright, this is pretty good, and Volk is going to take the rear. Oh boy, oh boy. Alright, here we go. Are you, actually, are you actually recording this, or is this not a real thing that's going to happen? Oh no, this is, this is being recorded. Okay. This is being recorded. Let, actually, let's save now. <laughs> where we are. Alright. Here we go. Begin Yay. now. Alright, this is where the real Fire Emblem begins. <laughs> I know, right? Like, this is the first time we have, like, a substantial third party, uh, group of guys here. Um, <laughs> oh, wow, you get right in there. Yeah. So we've got a Bowman, we've got a Lance guy. No Lagoose Slayers? <laughs> no Lagoose Slayers. Um, what, what is this? Can we, oh no, we can't talk. Um, we can kill the archer, we can kill the, the lance guy. Oh, you know what? Huh. Yikes. We might have to redo this. Why? <laughs> From what I heard, uh, a Astrid, like, dies on the first turn. Oh, where's Astrid? She's here? Like, right next to Oh, you. she's, like, right here, yeah. Um. And you have to have, you have to have Ike talk to her, like, as fast as possible. Move Ralph up like two more. Like up here? Yeah, like right there. And then have all your muscly dudes shove Ike. Yeah, and then Z-Hark. Alright, now see if you can reach Astrid. Bethany can. Oh, sweet! Oh, no, she can't. Oh, because uh, Reese is. Because Rolf is in the way. Good job. No! Whoops. Oh, uh, I should uh, you, I should have moved Rolf one more. Whoops. God damn it. Well, okay. Well, if this fails miserably, then we lose Astrid and Gatry, so it might be a restart. <laughs> I hate but, restarting. I feel like that. It'll be okay. God, I can't... They'll be distracted by Ike or something. You sure? Yeah. Just make sure he's well-equipped. With a good eye weapon. Yeah. Um, use the Rika sword. Uh. <laughs> you like to use swords, but or not? Yeah. Whatever. It's lighter. I, I kind of like that. Okay, everyone else. Whatever. Check Ralph. That's good. Alright. Let's hope. 
uh, Astrid doesn't get immediately killed. Who's this asshole? Oh, it's, it's the bassist from freaking the Killing Crows. Tell me, Walker. <laughs> Walker. Wow, what a freaking... Are my soldiers proving useful? It's Walker. <laughs> <laughs> king Kilvis! Oh, this is the king of the Kilvis? Oh, yeah, Marsala. Yeah. The king of the pasta. What? Aren't you happy to see me? Gah, look at this mess. I paid you good money to help me outmaneuver everyone else and catch the Cremain Princess's ship first. Everything seemed to be going exactly as we'd planned. But now we're being attacked by a squad of Pegasus Knights. We're flying no flags. We've stripped our armor of any crests. They should have no clue who we are. Why are they attacking us? Didn't you know? That is a big neon ship you're attacking. What? That's a big neon ship? It was your feather-brained lackey who told us that Princess Cremea was aboard that vessel. Call it a miscommunication. One of those unfortunate misunderstandings that seem to happen now and again. You deceitful King Kilvis! I wouldn't be surprised if you'd planned this treachery from the start! Such unkind words! You wound me. I would never intentionally lie to you. And as proof, I bring good news. I have it on unshakable authority that the ship that just sailed up alongside Begneons carries the Cremean Princess. Oh, but unless we can break through the Begneon ranks, there's nothing we can do. Would you care for some assistance? And what would it cost me this time? You learn quickly, my friend. Well, let's see. You'd be receiving my own royal assistance, so double. No, triple rates. Ludicrous! So much gold! Where would I? I suppose I could defer payment until later. Of course, that does bring up the question of interest. Leave my sight. I wouldn't seek your aid if the world were burning down around me. Very well. We've no more to discuss. Call me if you change your mind. I'll find a nice perch and enjoy the show. Curse you. You know better than your feral cousins. Oh. oh. Who's that old guy in the back? Uh, that's like his grandpa. <laughs> uh, Nisala is like the Loki of this game. He just he just messes everyone's poop up. <laughs> okay. He's like my least favorite character and one of my favorite characters at the same time. Oh, what the heck? Oh, shit. Okay, what's uh, going it's on? It's just a jab. It's all right. Yeah, there you go. Not bad. I, for a second, I thought it was like a longbow guy <laughs> that I didn't see. Oh, going after Astrid. Oh my god. Ah! Dead. She's, uh... I wanted to live more freely, grandmother. Well, we're restarting. Ow! Literally, because the only mistake that I made was Rolf didn't move far enough. Because if he did, I would have been able to push Ike one more. Yeah, That's I meant bullshit. to tell you, I forgot. I totally forgot. You're supposed to have Mordecai. Mordecai is a smite. And then you can, and then he can reach her. I didn't even need Mordecai. I could have pushed him with Volk or anybody else. Like, but you, yeah, you just okay. told me that it was okay to move Rolf just two more spaces, and he's blocking the bridge. Like, dump that home. No problem here, guys. <laughs> okay, time to restart. <laughs> I hate doing this though, cause like. Because that's oh, well. the whole point, was that we were going to keep with, like, all of the deaths. Uh, it's too hard. There's so much bullcrap. I mean, we did it for Soren. For Soren, we let it go. Uh, yeah.